Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a um, solution on a certain problem, and this is on finding the equation of a quadratic equation given the sum and the product of the roots. Okay, so this is given given the sum and product of the root. Let's say the sum is 10 over 3 and the product is 25 over 9. So what we're looking for is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now when we're looking for the equation of a quadratic equation, the standard equation should be that a, b, and c are whole numbers. Okay, there can be different forms of this equation. It can have a fraction, but its simplest form is the one with a, b, and c as whole numbers. Okay, so how do we find the equation knowing the sum and the product of the roots? So we have to go back to the idea that the sum can be obtained through negative b over a. That's the formula for the sum of the roots and the product is obtained through c over a. So since it was already, or it is given, that the sum is 10 over 3, so in this case, negative b over a is equal to 10 over 3, and c over a is 25 over 9. Now with these two equations, what you will need to do is to solve the b and the c in terms of a. So let's start with the first one, negative b over a is 10 over 3. That means negative b is 10a over 3, which means b is negative 10a over 3. If you do the same for the second equation from the product, c is multiply both sides by a, you have 25 a over 9 or it's just like cross multiplying a to 25 so you have 25 a over 9. So the trick in looking for the equation is actually once you have found the b and the c you are going to replace this b and the c with their equivalent expressions in a. So a will remain as ax squared I mean a from the x squared but b should be written as negative 10a over 3 and then x plus c which is 25a over 9 is equal to 0. The next step is to simplify this equation. So multiply both sides by 9. You have 9ax squared. So 9 times negative 10a over 3 will be minus 30a, the simplest form. And then plus 25a over 9 times 9 will be 25a equals 0. Okay? And then factor out the a, you get 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 equal to 0. And then you divide by a divide by a, then it gives you 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 equal to 0, and that is the equation that you need. So that's the trick in solving or finding an equation given the sum and product of the roots. Now what you need to keep in mind in this technique is that the these assumptions, b equals negative 10 over a, uh, 10a over 3 and 25a over 9, we still don't know the values of a, b, and c. But with that, when we use them and simplify the ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 in terms of a, it will arrive at a specific equation. And you know, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 is just one of the many possible equations having sum as 10 over 3 and product as 25 over 9. For example, a multiple of 2 for this will be an 18x squared minus 60x plus 50. If you multiply this equation by 2, 
this equation is still a possible answer. If you get the sum and product of the roots through the negative b over a and c over a of this equation, it will give you 10 over 3 and 25 over 9. So you see, it can have infinitely many possible equations. But if you're just looking for one, and actually the simplest one is 9x squared minus 3x plus 25, then there you go, you already have the equation. Okay, so when is the time that you can only get one possible answer? It could be, um, this could happen if, if there are more information aside from the sum and the product. Okay. It could be more specific as the A is actually 9. So if A is 9, then definitely 18x squared minus 60x plus 50 is, is not an answer. Because 18 is obviously not 9. And the only equation that will work is 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 equal to 0. But if you're given just the sum and the product of the roots, then you can have so many possible answers for this. Okay, but you just... In, in providing just one, that's 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 equal to 0, that's a possible equation. Okay, so let me just summarize what we did in this problem and how we solved them. First, we know that the sum is given 10 over 3. The product is also known. It's 25 over 9. We use the sum and product formulas, b over a or negative b over a, and the product is c over a. Then we... we use the information because we know negative b over a the sum is equal to 10 over 3 so this is our 10 over 3 and then the product is 25 over 9 and the key was to solve the b and the c in terms of a by manipulating these equations with the manipulation of the of these equations we arrive at b equals negative 10 a over 3 and c to be 25 a over 9 and once you have those B and C in terms of A, go back to this equation and replace the B and the C. And after that, if you have any fractions involved, eliminate that by multiplying to the LCD. And the LCD here is 9 because that's the number that can cancel 3 and 9 together. And when you do that, you can see that there's still that A in every term. So you have to factor that, that A, and it leaves you the equation that you actually need. So when you factor out the A, to eliminate that, you divide both sides by A, and that's how we obtain 9x squared minus 3dx plus 25 equal to 0. And as I've mentioned, it's just one of the many possible answers for this problem, given the sum and product only as the information that we have. Okay? So this is one solution. I have another solution in another video and that is using a different technique. So just um, if your teacher would want to use or you to use the sum and product formulas and this is a solution. But if he or she prefers a different approach, you can use the technique that I discuss in the other video. And that is using the, the, the roots themselves like R1 and the R2. Okay, then you will see it in that video. Okay, so that's all for this. Thank you and goodbye.